All right, so I'm going to show you how to make balloon ropes. In other words, make balloon garlands, okay, that people are doing. So I'm going to show you two different types of ways, okay? The first thing I'm going to show you is using duplets, okay? You need duplets, and you can use two 60 cues to um, wrap your garland. But I'm going to use fishing line this time so you guys can see it a little bit easier. It'll look a little bit nicer. So um, I'm going to do my garland out of white five inch balloons okay and then let's go ahead and go all right so i'm gonna, I'm gonna inflate uh oh i'm gonna inflate my balloon and when you're doing this particular um when you're doing this particular um style you want to make sure your balloons are the same size okay so i blew up both of those balloons and i just wrap it twice and then i just tie it okay so this is called a duplet, two balloons tied together. It's called a duplet in the balloon industry, all right? So I'm gonna make several. All right, so I'm back. So I have made several duplets of the five inch white and I use Qualitex brand. So now what I'm gonna do is take my fishing line and this is 17 gauge uh, fishing line that I got from Walmart um, in the fishing section. So what I wanna do is just take my, um, fishing line and tie a knot one knot <laughs> two knots and I'm gonna do three so three knots okay all right so then what you want to do you take your next duplet and you put it on top and you use your fishing line and wrap it around like so okay take the next one Put it the opposite way and go ahead and wrap it again and what i do is a, a figure eight okay so i just wrap it again like this um that usually works out for me let me grab a few more duplets so you can see so you can see it more so now i'm going to do it again you just put your duplet down Hold it down now as you're wrapping the, the fishing line and just wrap it. Okay. And then basically continue until you have a long enough garland that, um, that you want. So I'm just going to continue. Make the adjustments. Place it down. Hold it down as you wrap let go here's my last one and just be careful because as you see the fishing line can get tangled okay so here's a duplet push it down let's try this again duplet push it down keep it pushed down and and I'm wrapping it around the two balloons, okay? I'm wrapping around the duplet. So this is this is what I have, okay? So what it creates is a nice line here. And this is how you make the rainbows, guys. You ever see the rainbows, the balloon rainbows that you see all over social media? This is how they make it, okay? Um, one day I will do a rainbow um, so I can show you guys. But you can kind of see. Can you just imagine? And when they usually do the rainbows, usually the top, um, the first uh, cluster is a different size and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But that will be on another video one day, okay? So basically, this is what you have. So you can make it as long as you want. Now, I'm not sure what they're calling this particular um, technique these days, but this is a type of balloon rope. But also, I wanted to tell you guys, this is called a fishbone, okay? It's kind of curved now, but if I straighten it a little bit, it's called a fish bone. And that's because it looks like a fish bone, right? So you have like, that's why it's important to make sure you use the same size when you're sizing your balloons. So you see a straight line of balloons here and then a straight one there and a straight one there. So we called it a fish bone pattern. All right. So now the next, the second way of making a balloon rope that you can incorporate in your organic balloon garlands is just simply making quads, which is a cluster of four um, of five inch balloons, just making quads of them. And you can make sure that it's the same size. It looks better if it's the same size. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, wrap it, tie it once, and then I tie it, I pull it tight so that the knot can be tight. Again, wrap it, then tie it twice, okay? Then you take the two duplets, twist it in the center. Okay, so I'm just gonna make several and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have all of my clusters made up and you can make your garland however long you would like. Once again, I'm using my 17 uh, pound fishing line that I got from the Walmart. Take the end of the fishing line, go ahead and tie it in the center of my cluster and I'm gonna tie it a few times. Normally, I would actually use a 260 cube to instead of the fishing line, but we're going to go ahead and do this, okay? All right, so let me just show you basically like you do any garland, okay? So you have your cluster here. Then the next one, you just put it on top. Make sure that it's nested, which this balloon will go in between this balloon, okay? I'm pushing down on it, and I'm just going to do a figure eight wrap, okay? The next one. Just push down on it, do a figure eight wrap. Push down on it, figure eight wrap. And we'll do one more, just to kind of show you. Like I said, you can make it however long you want to. All right, so this is what we have, okay? So I'm gonna hold these two um, side by side so you can see the difference. And then you can decide which one you would like. So here's the fishbone. Here's the fishbone where you're just, it's made up of the duplets and it has nice straight lines, okay? And it's kind of face, face, uh, not face, excuse me, it's kind of shaped like a fishbone, okay? Um, but this is the fishbone technique. Or you can do just a regular garland, okay? This is actually a little bit more rounder. This is more like defined and nice and clean. So, you know, choose which one you want. And then how you would add um, either one of these. And if you want to, hey, use a combination of them if you wanted to. If you wanted to do one fishbone pattern, doesn't that look nice? <laughs> one fishbone pattern. Or if you want to do just a garland of quads. You can do that so you make it as long as you want to so what i normally do when i attach it in the garland i will cut a 260 q let me show you what a 260 q is a 260 q um and i will cut it in half and that and then i would tie half of the 260 q into the end let me just show you like this I'm wrapping it around two clusters, okay? And then I'm just tying it twice, okay? Cut this. Then I'm gonna take the other half, tie it once, twice. So then I would just use um, one end to tie into my garland and then here's another piece to tie into it and it it's it works out great so have fun creating your own unique organic balloon garland love you family